Tonight on The Tool Show. Todd tackles nailers. Kyle's tool cuts different. And we've got new tools from Flex, Milwaukee, Dwalt, Makita, Bosch, and Hilti. Those stories and more up next on The Tool Show. Welcome back, tool fans. We've got a ton of new tool announcements to cover today, starting with Flex, who finished up their third wave of Pro Tools with a grinder and a light. That is the Flex FX3211Z die grinder. This little fella is designed to grind metals and welds in tight spaces where an angle grinder can't go. It delivers up to 28,000 RPM, complete with adjustable speeds to match the application. It's built with a slim ergonomic design and has a spindle lock for easy accessory changes. It also has an anti-kickback braking tech to get you out of a blind. And finally, the Flex FX5121Z inspection light. It features angled light panels for lighting large areas and surfaces. It has a 180 degree pivot and 270 degree swivel. You can adjust the brightness with three settings, 200, 500, or 1000 lumens. The sliding hook, belt clip, and magnet give you plenty of mounting options as well. And those two wrap up the third wave of Flex tools. Now that they've all been revealed, what tool do you think that they're still missing from their lineup? A miner saw. I wasn't asking you, I was asking them. My bad. Okay. Let me know what you think the next flex tool should be in the comments. Miter saw. Makita has a new LXT rebar tying tool and a pair of XGT toys for the fans of Teal. First up, the new Makita 18 volt LXT deep capacity rebar tying tool, the XRT02. We were seriously impressed with the first rebar tying tool that they revealed a couple years ago. But this one has a much deeper capacity, allowing it to tie up to number eight and number seven rebar. It delivers up to 4,000 ties of number four by number four rebar on a single charge of an 18 volt LXT 5 amp hour battery. The new XRT02 is available now for $2,779. Moving on to the Makita 40 volt XG XGT platform, we have the new 40 volt max XGT 4.5 to 5 inch X lock angle grinder, the GAG 11. <laughs> Don't say it. It's a family show. The GAG 11 is a new X lock angle grinder that has an efficient brushless motor with up to 60% faster cutting speeds than the older Makita XAG 04 and includes a variable speed control dial and, of course, the X lock quick change system that allows for tool free wheel changes up to five times faster than traditional threaded lock nut mounts. The GAG 11 <laughs> is available now for $479. Makita also launched a new pair of 40 volt max XGT concrete vibrators. <laughs> the five and a half foot GRV01 and the eight foot GRV02. They both deliver up to 15,500 vibrations per minute or VPM if you're in a hurry. Both have two power settings and deliver up to 60 minutes of runtime in normal mode on a single XGT 8 amp hour battery. The GRV01 is now available for $559, while the GRV02 is $659, both bare. Uh -huh. Family. You're, you're terrible. <laughs> Family show. Ryobi seems determined to launch at least as many tools in 2023 as they did in 2022 which at last count was around 300,000-ish. This week, they're adding to their popular 40-volt HP OPE. This is the Ryobi 40-volt HP brushless 20-inch self-propelled multi-blade lawnmower. It's wearing the HP tag thanks to the powerful brushless motor that they claim delivers gas levels of performance. It's got self-propelled rear wheel drive and cross-cut multi-blade system that's supposed to improve your cut quality. With 52 minutes of runtime, they say it's ideal for a half acre or less. It's a three-in-one mulching, bagging, and side discharge setup with seven position single point height adjustment as God intended. Amen. You can pick one up for $579. Ryobi also revealed a new 40 volt HP brushless Whisper Series 2000 PSI 1.2 GPM pressure washer. The most interesting part of that title is the Whisper Series, which means it's 81% quieter than a gas pressure washer. You can get your water from any standard garden hose or pull from any fresh water source with the included 10 foot siphon hose. It's available now for $449. Last of all, we've got the new Ryobi 40 volt HP brushless 8 inch stick edger. The HP is earned with a 70% boost of power and increased torque. It can quickly and easily be adjusted from 0.5 to 2.25 inch depth with a single point height adjustment and a blade indicator for accurate edging. The variable speed trigger gives you more control. The five inch rear wheel keeps your cut consistent and the two speeds allow you to adjust for optimal runtime. The new Ryobi 40 volt HP brushless eight inch stick edger is 359. DeWalt is not slowing down so far this year, announcing a new 20 volt max compact press tool at the AHR Expo this month. It arrives with several new jaw and ring press attachments for plumbers, pipe fitters, and HVAC techs. It aims to provide a broad variety of solutions in a very small package. It has a compact one-handed design, 
press tracking software, and Tool Connect. It has a lightweight inline design, making it perfect for overhead work and one-handed press applications. It also has a 180-degree rotating head, LED light, and Crimp Connect software for generating data from successful press cycles. No word yet on price and availability. DeWalt also showed off their new Tough System 2.0 dual port charger, which features two ports for simultaneously charging and two USB ports for powering your electronic devices. Charging is actually enabled when the lid is shut and actively cooled by a built-in fan that sustains airflow to help prevent overheating while charging. Now, the built-in storage space can hold up to 12 DeWalt 20-volt max or 60-volt max flex-volt batteries in addition to the two in the charger. It'll be available later this month. Now, if dust is a problem, DeWalt has a new answer for that as well in this new DWV-015 10-gallon dust extractor with an automatic filter cleaner for those pesky OSHA regulations. When you pair its fleece vacuum bag and a 99.97% HEPA filter, you're guaranteed to breathe a little easier. They also showed off this awesome optional storage rack that allows you to attach T-Stack and Tough System modules, adding even more mobility to your gear. Last of all, they revealed the new DeWalt 60 volt max 7 to 9 inch large angle grinder. Now, Sarah and I got to see this in person at World of Concrete, and it was pretty impressive. It features a hugely powerful brushless motor that rings in at 2,800 MWO, a kickback brake, the e-clutch system that shuts down the motor when a pinch or stall is sensed, a no-volt switch that prevents prevents the tool from restarting following a loss of power, and wireless tool control tech that can communicate with DeWalt dust extractors, presumably to tell its suck jokes. Rob! Sorry. The new DeWalt 60 volt max 7 to 9 inch large angle grinder will be available this June. Bosch continues to add new Pro Factor tools to their lineup this year, including a new 18 volt 7 and a quarter inch blade left circular saw, the GKS 18V26L. It promises corded performance, two 5 8 inch cut capacity, which will get through any 2 by material across the entire bevel range, and an electronic brake. They also announced a baby miter saw, the GCM 18V-07S. The Bosch Pro Factor 18 volt 7 and a quarter inch slide miter saw delivers three and three fourths inch nested crown cutting with 45 degree left against the fence and an eight and a quarter inch cross cuts. It has a carrying handle so you can easily bring the 26 pound tool to the work instead of it the other way around. The legendary Bulldog didn't escape upgrade either with the new 18 volt Bulldog SDS plus one inch rotary hammer, the GBH 18 V 24 C. It delivers 1.8 foot pounds of impact energy, perfect for heavy duty applications in concrete. It has an efficient brushless motor that maximizes battery battery runtime, and it also features Bosch's kickback control technology, which reduces risk of sudden tool reaction in binding conditions. Hilti still rolling out new additions to their 22 volt Neuron lineup, this time announcing the NMX 622, a cordless paddle mixer. It has a comfortable double handle design with a high torque brushless motor. It features a variable speed trigger and three speed settings ranging from 0 to 600 RPM. Hilti's commitment to safety is found here too, with the lack of a dangerous cord, of course, and a safety switch to prevent accidentally switching it on. Now it claims to mix up to 10.5 gallon buckets using a 5 inch paddle. It's available now for $389. Hilti also announced a new TE2022 cordless jackhammer. Weighing in at a stout 38.4 pounds, it's ready to do some serious work. They say it can match the performance of their own corded TE2000 and larger jackhammers without all the extra bulk. It can demolish half a ton of concrete per charge on one pair of Neuron B22-225 batteries or 1.5 tons by adding the optional large battery case. It features virtually dust-free demolition, up to 95% reduction when paired with a TE DRSB dust removal system and its compatible Hilti vac. It's powerful enough to break up concrete slabs and foundations up to 8 inch thick, and it's available now for $2,117. Milwaukee continues launching tools you don't need, but will buy because let's You should it. only buy red tool. What the hell was that? I don't know. Did you drink the Kool-Aid that came with the press releases? Maybe. We talked about this. The biggest news was the new insane MX Fuel pipe threading machine. It comes equipped with a new Milwaukee NPT pipe threading die head with micro adjust, which enables the easiest, most controlled die adjustments and the auto release mechanism controls that thread length. For easy transportation onto and around the job site, the MX Fuel pipe threading machine features a collapsible cart, built in gas springs to lift the tool up to the working height, and it even has a self contained oil reservoir for keeping oil within the basin so you don't need to drain it. 
The pipe threading machine provides enough power to thread up to two inch black iron pipe, stainless steel, rigid metal conduit, and more. When paired with the including MX Fuel Red Lithium XC406 battery packs, it delivers up to 140 cut, reamed, and threaded 3 quarter inch pipe ends per pack. Once the job is complete, the machine can be stored upright without spilling, reducing the overall storage footprint. You'll be able to get your own in April for a penny less than $7,000. Moving on to even more first world problems, don't you just hate it when you're loosening your lug nuts and you scratch up those bussin' rims? Stop it! Well, Milwaukee has you covered. Or, more accurately, they have your sockets covered. These are the new line of Shockwave Impact Duty Lug Nut Sockets with the industry's most durable, non-marring sleeves. Constructed with thin walls, the sockets are actually optimized for users to access the tight spaces around lug nuts. Designed for half-inch drive impact wrenches, drivers, and adapters, the sockets feature a dual-hole design and ring groove for easy socket attachment and removal from the tool. These new lug nut wheel sockets meet ASME industry standards, which is more than I can say for Sarah. What does that for mean? thin wall sockets to ensure proper fit to the fastener. They can be purchased individually from $18 to $20 or in sets running from a three piece for $39 to an 11 piece for $129.99. Before we get to the tool videos of the week, we have two quick giveaways. First, our skill showcase. This is the all new scale PowerCore 20 XP brushless 20 volt 7 and a quarter inch circular saw, and the focus for this one is power. We're talking 5,300 RPM with a 2 and 5 8 inch cut capacity at 90 degrees and a 1 13 16 inch at 45. That means you can run through three sheets of stacked three quarter inch ply. It has an electric brake, rafter hook, onboard tool storage, LED light, and integrated dust collection. And with the included four amp hour battery, you can expect up to 280 cuts on a single charge. The new Scale Power Core 20 XB brushless 20 volt seven and a quarter inch circular saw is available now for 169 in a kit, or you can win this one. To enter, just leave a comment describing the first project that you would do if you won. We also have a spider giveaway this week. In our spider pack, we have a four and a half inch universal cutoff wheel, six and a half inch demo blade, seven and a quarter inch demo blade, seven and a quarter inch ultra fine finish blade, mock blue drill bits, mock blue driver bits, stinger spade bit set bimetal reset blades with three free scrapers, and an 11 piece bimetal hole saw kit. Now to get entered for the spider giveaway, simply leave a comment reminding everyone else in the comments that there's no point using Pro Tools without Pro Accessories from Spider. Moving on to tool videos, Kyle from our buildings has brought back Tools Day and I'm here for it. This time he showed off a Jetco panel cutter, which as metal cutters go, this one looked more like a can opener. But as you can see, it really does a great job of cutting through several types of sheet metal and in the end, earned a spot in Kyle's tool trailer. To see if you should drop the $400 on one, head over to RR Buildings. Todd over at Project Farm wants to know who makes the best nail gun, so he naturally bought examples from Milwaukee, DeWalt, Passload, Rigid, Craftsman, and Metabo HPT, beat the ever-living crap out of them, and then makes them line up from best to most shameful. I love it. First time I've seen a tip grip ranking, by the way. Head over to Project Farm before you buy another one. The Torque Testing Crew over at Torque Test Channel got a new Harbor Freight Hercules Impact Driver, put it up against the very best that they've ever tested, and the results were, well... Assuming these don't all just grenade themselves, I think you'd have a hard time objectively not calling this the top impact driver to beat on the market right now. I'm saying that about a Harbor Freight tool and it's not the 1st of April. We're definitely living on one of the weirder timelines in this multiverse. Weirder timelines? If I have to start talking about Harbor Freight tools every week, I simply don't know if I can do this anymore. Money. Okay, fine. There's a lot more to the Hercules story that TCC uncovers, so be sure to check it out. And last of all, our buddy Tools from Tools and Stuff shared an entertaining but educational review of Makita's two mightiest earth augers, the 40 volt XGT and the LXD X2 36 volt. And my man makes some seriously big holes while wearing some of the sexiest work boots ever. I need a pair, bud. To find out which tools make the bigger hole fastest, head over to Tools and Stuff. 
Before we go, we want to reveal our Platinum Tool Deal for this week. We had a ton of production crew members ask us for one last shot at the previous deal, and our friends at OPT have agreed. A couple weeks ago, we featured 50% off any one item from Blockwater. Blockwater is easily our favorite brand of workwear, and they recently started sponsoring our show. So to celebrate, we're going to offer that deal one more time. Now remember guys, the code that we're going to give you will only work for the first 25 people, so you're going to need to be real fast, all right? The code you need is B-A-B-W-V-M. Highly recommend the Black Ladder Jackets. Ours are super nice. Good luck. That's your tool show for this week. We want to thank Skill and Spider for continuing to support our show and our community of tool fans. We could not do this without you. All right, guys. If you can, do something kind for someone else this weekend, and we'll see you next week.